The joy of parenthood, that time of life when you have a little one to look after. But there's one part of child rearing that few relish, nappy changing. Salvation has come with the invention of the modern disposable nappy, but there's much more to making this innovation than meets the eye. Pulp is used to form part of the core of the nappy, and you may be surprised to learn that this pulp is made out of pine wood. As well as the wood, these workers are adding gigantic bales of cotton wool. This is grown in the USA, and together with a pine fluff will be combined to form the soft core of the new nappy. The nappy cores are made inside this machine. Here, the pulp and cotton wool are mixed together and shot out the other side, ready to be woven into strips. What emerges is one long strip of pulp, but the guillotine on this revolving drum will cut it into more nappy-sized pieces. The next addition is the outer plastic. This waterproof layer will act as a final barrier to stop any seepage from spoiling baby's clothes or anything else. However, the real protection in the modern disposable nappy comes from this granulated chemical. This is sodium polyacrylate, and it's the superabsorbent secret that stops spills. As the granules absorb the water, they swell and become a gel which locks the liquid into place. The disposable nappy industry is big business, so companies are continually developing these kinds of products for the market. The nappy on the left here doesn't have a superabsorbent gel core. The one on the right does. This test shows the gel's dual benefits. First, as you can see, the gel cord nappy on the right absorbs the liquid far faster. Second, the leakage test shows that when a dry napkin is applied to the first nappy, there's clear leakage from the absorbent part. However, when the same test is conducted on the gel core variety, there's almost no leakage at all. The chemical has done its job and trapped all the liquid inside. The superabsorbent core is layered between two sheets of the soft pulp we saw earlier. Next, a fleece will be added. It's made out of a cloth similar to Gore-Tex. This will help keep the baby comfortable, allowing his or her skin to breathe. With all the layers in place, the nappy can now be shaped. Indentations for the legs are cut out, and the computer checks each one to make sure it's been cut in the right place. Sometimes the cutter gets out of sync, but the computer is quick to identify the problem nappies, and they're removed from the line straight away. The modern disposable nappy has come a long way since the first prototypes were invented in the 1960s, but there are concerns that the millions used and dumped in landfills every day may create a big environmental problem. Public opinion is beginning to turn back towards the reusable nappy, but current figures show that 90% of UK parents still prefer the convenient disposable variety. The final stage of the production process sees the nappies being counted, squeezed down to remove any air, and packed up, ready to be sent to the stores. The most important role of the nappy is to keep its contents inside. However, the baby's comfort is also vital. Nappy rash causes grief for both babies and parents, but the gel core may help to reduce the problem. Tests show that when overall skin dampness is reduced, so is the incidence of nappy rash. And while they may be causing a mountain of waste, most parents won't do without disposable nappies.